Hey guys, Blake here with another video and today we're going to talk about a great schooling fish option if you've got some big boisterous cichlids. Let's talk all about silver dollars today, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so you might have seen silver dollars in your local fish store and wondered what is the go with these fish. So uh, to get started, silver dollars are related to Paku and Piranha. So you can sort of see that sort of um, shape and draw, jaw structure with them. However, silver dollars are far less likely to be predatory. They're, they certainly uh, tend towards the more vegetative diet. So that is one thing as well that people come unstuck with. Uh, silver dollars do like to shred up any and all plants and uh, and are not a great choice for a planter tank. They are however a great schooling or dither fish for your big American cichlids and the like. So silver dollars get pretty big depending on the variety which we'll discuss further as we go through this video. They can get between 6 to 10 inches uh, in size which is about 25 centimeters uh, when you convert it across. They are however very peaceful and very outgoing and enjoy schooling so I would recommend keeping them in groups of 5 to 6 which means that you're going to need a big tank to keep up with the biological uh, output of these fish. So. Um, Minimum tank size, I would say for a group of five to six silver dollars would be a 75 gallon aquarium or a four foot slash 120 centimeter aquarium. So um, keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to stick these in your small two foot tanks or anything like that. As we touched on earlier, they're an omnivore, but they do prefer uh, plant matter in their diet. And if you care for them properly, you can actually have them up to 10 years. So they're quite a long lived fish and they'll give you plenty of reward if you do end up picking them up. Being relatives of Paku and Piranha, they do come from South America and they are, they do exhibit the same sort of aggressive eating habits that uh, their relatives exhibit as well. I actually think that's a great thing though because if you have a big showpiece sort of fish but they tend to be a little bit shy which I've had in the case of you know Jack Dempsey's and Jaguar cichlids before but they like to just hide in the corner well silver dollars can be a great way to entice them to come out of hiding so if you have that food competition where as soon as you put food in the tank the um, silver dollars are straight at it ready to eat it well the other cichlid that you're trying to entice out will have no choice but to go hungry or to come out and eat so it can be a great dither fish in that way although they'd be one of the largest dither fish that um, you can get however keep in mind that uh, they will sometimes fly out of the tank uh, in their excitement so keep tight lids on the tanks for these guys because they are prone to a little bit of jumping and also, as we touched on, they do shred up plants, so uh, you won't have much luck with many plants other than things like java fern, anubius, hornwort, and other really hardy plants. Give it a go if you like, but just be prepared for the worst. Um, a lot of people have had silver dollars rip up their planter tanks before, so um, do it uh, at your own risk. You can, however, put plants above your aquarium, so so things like pothos, aka devil's ivy, is a great option, but they might even still eat the roots of those plants as well, so keep that in mind. In terms of breeding, they are fairly difficult to sex, so since I recommend picking up a group of six, you'll wait to see them pair off naturally, and breeding behavior, they'll look like they're chasing each other, bumping each other, and you might even see an embrace, similar to what you see with bedders, where they sort of curl around each other and look like they're hugging. At which point they will spread their eggs on plants so obviously we can't really put real plants so so if you're intending to breed fill the aquarium with silk plants and even sporting mops made from acrylic yarn and they will then just sort of insert their spread their eggs around at either the base of the plants or within the sporting mop and then you can pull those eggs out and hatch them artificially if you do have a species only breeding tank you will actually find as well that they don't usually eat their eggs or fry so you can actually colony breed them as well which is a really cool thing and something that's not that common in the aquarium hobby you'll find your normal silver dollars you'll find red hook silver dollars which basically have a red hook uh, below their body you'll find spotted silver dollars which as you can probably guess have spots you'll also find striped silver dollars like i have here today 
red hook silver dollars get a lot larger than the spotted or striped silver dollars which tend to stay a little bit smaller so if you are pushing it on tank size definitely steer you towards the spotted or striped silver dollar. In terms of proper tank parameters you want to keep them between 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit or around the mid 20s to about 28 degrees Celsius something like that and pH wise you want to keep it on the softer side around about 6 to 7 something in that range will be good for some silver dollars. Overall silver dollars provide a really great uh, amount of activity within your aquarium, great shimmering effect as they swim back and forth. They're also really peaceful and they can be just a great option to fill out one of those monster aquariums that people love. Hopefully you liked this video, hopefully you found it handy. If you have any further questions, be sure to drop them down below. If you liked it, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.